Hello there, it is Danielle Johnson here to talk to you about um, party with a purpose. So a party with a purpose can mean a lot of different things. I like to first point out that it's your own party, but with that, I personally have the most success when I turn it into a mystery hostess, um, giving away all of the benefits to one person or splitting it up amongst people. Or I usually have even better success when I do it as an actual fundraiser. And you pick something near and dear to your heart or something that you know is going to be great for your family and friends that they're going to like and, like and your customers. Examples can be your local humane society, um, wooden, uh, wounded soldier project, that sort of thing, right? So there are all types. But the idea is that it is an in-person party, okay? So whether that's at your house, at a winery, at a brewery, at a restaurant, at a hall, at a church, um, wherever. So, uh, it can even be someone else's house. Um, but the point is, is that it's got a purpose. So there's two parts to the purpose. So the first part I shared with you is that, like I said, generally I like to see it as a fundraiser or a mystery hostess, something in it for them. The second part of the purpose is that it's fun and it's not your ordinary party. It can be things like a bingo, it can be bunko, it can be just a whole bunch of games, it can be a craft night. If you haven't seen the crafts that we can do with 31, we can color things, we can do um, the little carry-all caddies and turn them into flower baskets, we can use the wood things and turn them into um, things with succulents in them, so there's all kinds of ideas um, around the idea of a crafting party. So that's the second part of the party with a purpose. Now I find both of these, being a fundraiser, plus having something fun and extra that they're going to do, uh, it basically it brings more people to the party. And I am the first to tell you that my personal parties kind of stink. My first launch party, just to let you know, had five people here, okay? Um, so that is where the idea, the idea didn't come from that because I did not make up these ideas, they came from other people. But that's where the idea came to me that maybe I would get more people involved and get more people doing this type of thing. And so far, when I do, um, it's successful. So it is something that you can do every single month like clockwork. I see the most success from people who do this by knowing that it's going to be the second Saturday of every month or the third Tuesday of every month, something like that. Now, if your schedule doesn't work that way, that's okay too. But the point is, is that you plan it out a month or two ahead of a time so that people always know if they can't make this one, you are automatically like, well, here's the one we're going to have next month and this is what we're doing. Now, the cool part of this too is that it's actually two parties in one. So generally, speaking they are ordering their supplies one month you're trying to get them especially with shipping if it can be you know we all know shipping can take, be a little bit longer um, you're trying to get your supplies um, ahead of time so maybe a whole month before and then at the party they're ordering again so how cool is that and you can add that onto your normal monthly party that you're having in your customer group like your bundle party and that sort of thing so that is the idea behind party with a purpose I hope this helps if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask Bye, guys.